What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single video. So it seems like everyone else in the teen mom world has been getting all of our attention lately. And of course, little Miss Janelle Evans from Teen Mom 2 cannot stand to not be the, to the topic of conversation for too, too long. And so what does she do? Of course, she causes some trouble to get herself back in the press. You know what, why don't you watch this video really quickly first and then we'll break it down. Yes, in that video you just saw, posted by Twitter user Glitter Girly, Janelle Evans' latest soulmate, David Eason, actually filmed a random girl at the airport um, and like accosted her, claiming that she was trying to take photos of himself, Janelle, and all of the kids that they had with them as well. And it was just so cringe-tastic. I, I just cannot believe how self-important these people are. Like, you're literally on reality television. You crave the attention. Enjoy it, okay? And so first of all, the girl who shall not be named release um, her side of the story and this is what she had to say. I was verbally attacked by Janelle from Teen Mom this morning in the St. Thomas airport. She's not a nice person. And she continued on her posting to say that I was in the cafe looking into getting everyone I was with food. I went to walk out and then turned back to take a picture of the menu and try to call slash text my sister to see what we all wanted and kept turning around to see if any of them were coming. When I went to walk out of the cafe, her boyfriend, kind of a jerk, rushed me with his phone in my face and said, I'm videoing you. You like it? He was very aggressive and when someone came and pulled him away, Janelle got in my face and was like, I know you know who I am and I saw you taking a video of me because I'm on TV and a reality star. She was all up in my face and completely out of line, especially since I wasn't taking pictures of them. Everyone around me thought her boyfriend and I knew each other at first and and when they realized I didn't, they all got up and went to get security because of how out of line they were. I was so caught off guard and left feeling attacked. I was in shock and it was crazy. I mean, her story of like looking at a menu, taking photos of it, and um, turning back to see whether or not her friends were coming seems kind of odd, but pretty plausible. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've all been at a place where we're like, you know what, let me just take a picture of this damn thing because I am not walking all the way back here, you know, just because some person didn't hear me properly or I might have misinterpreted a price or something like that. But my question is, where were David and Janelle facing that you taking a photo of a menu would have bothered them, right? Like wouldn't a menu be like, you know when you're at a fast food joint, the menu would be back there and the people would be facing the menu so they wouldn't see you. Do you know what I'm getting at? Like I don't really understand that. And so anyway, Janelle released her own version of events on Twitter as well. She said that she originally tried getting in line but didn't and this girl was just starstruck as she walked past um, and was eating her food and she turned back around, did a double take and that's when she started videotaping them walking out of the cafe. She claims that her kids got scared by all of it and I was like, listen, if your kids are scared of random people taking photos and videos of them which is possible they're young kids and they have a right to be scared why are you on a reality show should you not be concerned for your kids and just take them off the show so that people have no desire to take photos and videos of them because people don't really know who they are anymore you know? Janelle also said that the girl was a liar because she claimed that she didn't know who the two of them were, but according to her Facebook status, she did. And my question here is, what does Janelle know about this girl's Facebook status? You know, and maybe this girl found that out after the encounter. Maybe someone told her, whoa, you just got cursed out by Janelle Evans. And can we talk about how law worthy it is that Janelle thinks anyone would be starstruck by her of all people? <laughs> anyway, Janelle claims that MTV security that they were traveling with had to escort the girl away from her and that airport security also had to detain her so to speak until Janelle boarded her plane like really all just because she might have filmed you do you really think all of that would happen for that very reason that's kind of crazy and so uh, I know that definitely in this situation security was involved because the girl did say that as well that you know some kind of security did kind of step in and intervene in the situation but like 
what security was it? Was it MTV or was it airport? I feel like the girl would have said airport security if that's what it was because they would have been wearing, you know, airport security clothing, very obvious. So I, I'm inclined to believe that it was MTV security that stepped in between the two of them, but maybe not for the reason that Janelle is saying, right? Maybe it's just because the whole thing was getting too hostile. And we all know Janelle loves a good physical fight, so they probably just wanted to stop everything. The cameras weren't rolling after all. <laughs> and you guys, Janelle is seriously sticking to her story about this girl being starstruck. Her la One of her last tweets, I should say, about the incident was that um, the people eating next to her were from England and were confused. And I said, I'm on a reality show and she's a fan and she's starstruck. How freaking narcissistic can you be? My goodness, what are you talking about? First of all, why would you even bother to speak to people sitting next to the stranger? Like, just keep it moving, you know what I mean? Like, if you're not thirsty for attention, you would be like, man, that sucked that my photograph was taken without my permission or whatever, but I'm just gonna keep my head down, keep it moving, like it's an airport. Who cares, things happen. But for you to just, like, talk to these random people just because they're looking at the whole spectacle funny and claim that the whole reason for it was because someone was starstruck and a fan of yours? Delusional, girl, delusional is what you are. If the fan's version of events is true, do you think that she could potentially sue David and Janelle for um, posting her video and her image across their social media handles, knowing that they have hundreds and thousands of people following them? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. This whole thing is so, so odd, but then again, so is everything else in the wonderful world of Janelle, you guys. I'm I'm so excited to hear what you think about this airport fiasco between Janelle and a random fan who was starstruck by her. Let's chat, you guys. You can also like this video, subscribe for more. Feel free to share it with your friends as well. And follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.